Hey there, it's Vicki Marie, Living Life. Today, I'm gonna to show you how to make hummingbird nectar. So I am still waiting on the, the hummingbirds. They have not shown up here in my part of the state yet. I am in the, the southern area of Colorado, and normally, like on a typical year, we have seen them for, we've been putting up hummingbird feeders for years, and usually by now we've seen hummingbirds, and by now they're starting to make, a, you know, some of them are sticking around, and we have up to about five hummingbirds that, that basically live in our area. I have always at least two feeders up. My neighbor has a feeder up and then one of my other friends who's a couple blocks or a few blocks away always has a feeder up. So this is a pretty decent place for them. And this year, n nothing. Not I have not seen any hummingbirds at all yet. Now John went golfing the other day and he did see some up near the mountains where he was golfing. So I know they're in Colorado and I have gone on the website Hummingbird Central Dot com and they do have a migration map and you can go on there and you can see uh, the hummingbirds where they've been sighted on the map and then you can also report your sighting so if you do see a hummingbird it's a good thing to go on that site and just let other people know so people like me we like to check that map and just see where the hummingbirds are there's different uh, breeds all around the country we get the black chinned here and uh, really excited to uh, to watch them through the summer. They usually make a little nest and we usually have at least one or two hummingbird nests in our backyard and we watch them and it's really fun. But uh, so far this year, there's nothing. But I'm gonna go ahead and keep keeping my feeders up and hopefully any day now we will spot a hummingbird, fingers crossed. So let me show you how we make hummingbird uh, nectar. So I'm starting with one cup of sugar and I'm going to add four cups of water to this pot. And then I'm going to uh, just get that up to about medium high to high heat. And I'm just going to give that a stir and I'm just making sure that all the sugar dissolves and I just bring it up to the point where it starts to boil and I'm going to take that off the heat and I'm going to let it completely cool and then I will pour that into my feeder. Now any leftover hummingbird nectar, you can put in a refrigerator, put the lid on it and save it for, I don't usually save it more than three to five days, uh, but then I'm always refilling my feeders every few days because if your feeder's up out and it's hot outside, you can get bacteria growing in your feeder and that is not good for the hummingbirds. So you do wanna change out your feeders every few days and you do wanna make sure that your feeders are clean. So I always just bring in my feeder, I clear, I dump out any excess water that's, or any nectar that's left over from my, in my feeder, I dump that into the sink and then I do wash my feeder in very hot water with a little bit of Dawn detergent and I rinse it really well and then I refill it and I, I hang it up. So whatever breed of hummingbird you have in your area, this nectar will work. It's very, very simple to make. You're gonna need two ingredients, sugar and water, and you want the white granulated sugar. Now the important thing about the sugar is you are just going to dissolve the sugar. You don't need to boil the sugar. I boil my water because it has chlorine in it. It's tap water and boiling the water just gives, uh, make sure that all of that is, is, you know, not toxic to the hummingbirds. I have heard that chlorine is not good for the hummingbirds and that's why I do boil my water. But honestly, uh, some websites just recommend that you just take your kind of warm tap water and you add your sugar to it and you stir it and you just have to dissolve the sugar. That's the most important part is to dissolve the sugar and then you can feed that to the hummingbirds. Uh, I do and I have for years, I always bring my water to, to just right to where it starts to boil and then I take it off the heat. This is just a very simple thing. It doesn't take a lot of time and it brings me a lot of joy when I look outside and watch the hummingbirds drinking out of my hummingbird feeders. So I hope that that helps if you are interested in feeding your hummingbirds. It's very, very simple to do and it's a lot of fun. So thanks for watching, guys. I hope you're doing well. I'll let you know as soon as I see a hummingbird, you'll be the first to know after me. <laughs> Take good care and I'll see you on the next video. Bye.